Winston Churchill was even stronger with his words. He said this, Islam in a man is as dangerous as rabies in a dog. Was he a, was he a racist? And the idea of race was used by a pan-European ruling class to devastating effect. For example, Winston Churchill, often voted Britain's favorite person, could be found describing the Palestinians as dogs or claiming that the extermination of the red man of America or the black man of Australia was, as he put it, no great crime at all. He also blamed Indians for breeding like rabbits when millions of them were starved to death during British rule. Yet sections of our political class worship this man. We put him on banknotes. And perhaps expect those of us whose extermination he would call no great crime to say nothing at all. Dougie is on the line from the West Midlands. Let's hear from him. Go ahead, Dougie. Hello, George. I'm interested to hear you quoted Winston Churchill this evening. I frequently do, my friend. Yes, but uh, I'd like to know when he said that Islam in men is like rabies in a dog. I'd like to know your thoughts on that. Repugnant, prejudiced, bigoted, racist, tosh. Like, no, like, like, that. like, he no, I'm saying it. Islam. I'm saying, I'm saying, you asked me what I thought of it. I've just told you. Racist, bigoted, ignorant, tosh. Like That's much. Winston Churchill is a racist, a bigot, and whatever you want to keep saying, because they stated that Islam in men. You've said it three times. In a dog. You've, you've got, you've uh, got your uh, prize, whatever it is. You've said it three times, and I'm telling you what I think of it. And if you're asking me, was Winston Churchill a racist? No sane or sensible person would doubt that for one moment. If I didn't have just a few minutes to go, I could give you reams of evidence. The Winston Churchill, who dropped chemical weapons on the Kurdish people in Iraq, and then asked the House why everyone was so upset about it. They were only uncivilized tribes, he said. Charles Winston Churchill this... dropped gas on Syria than that. Did you not know that? Dougie, you should have been following. You, you should. Behave yourself. You Behave should. Yourself. You should have you followed me. I was waiting for an idiot to call, and just at the last, you have. If you didn't know that Winston Churchill, in the 1920s, dropped poison gas, chemical weapons on the Kurdish people in the north of Iraq, you're an ignorant fool. Because I've been telling you it since at least. 2002. If you didn't know that Winston Churchill starved millions of people in India in the famine, then you're an ignorant fool. If you didn't know that Winston Churchill sent tanks against the workers in Glasgow, you're an ignorant fool. If you didn't know that he shot down the workers in Tony Pandy in South Wales for going on strike, you're an ignorant fool. It's important, light and shade, you know, Dougie. And it's especially important to know your facts if you're going to phone me up and take me on. Because I know my onions. Because I've spent a long time reading. There's nothing, nothing, nothing that you know about Winston Churchill that I don't know. Good and bad. Unlike you, I'm capable of holding a nuanced opinion of someone. I'm capable of saying this person did these things that were very, very bad. And he also did these things that were very, very significant and good. Dougie, I waited all night for an idiot to phone up and be slaughtered. And so I have to thank you. I take my hat off to Dougie in the West Midlands.